Should we mm -hmm. do something specifically about guns? We have to do something, to your point, and it's so well said, Cheryl. Like, we have to, as a country, come together and do something. And these conversations are going on. We're trying to find something to do. When are we going to do something? I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. Well, anybody that says there's nothing that can be, do can be done is just absolutely wrong. Do you think that this is going to do something finally? Are people going to, is this, is a change, is change coming? What can people do besides vote I mean, and, and volunteer? I mean, what do you think? Well, yeah. It's awful. I can't let people in this country believe that we can't change this. Yeah. And yet we are not doing enough to protect them. Yeah. to protect their little brothers and sisters. Yes. 90% of Americans think that you should have universal background checks. Universal background checks. Or expanded background checks. Background checks. Universal background checks. There is still a small yet powerful group of gun <laughs> who believe the problem with gun violence is not because of guns. No, it's because of everything else. There is no reason why an 18 year old should have access to weapons of war that can kill children. We want limits on who can walk around with an AR-15. Both of the Republican senators from Texas today issued thoughts and prayers statements, which can easily be translated into promises to make sure that American mass murderers remain the best equipped mass murderers in the world. If your thoughts and prayers were really with everybody, you'd have done something by now. Greg Abbott and the Texas Republicans made sure that when a mass murderer turns 18, it's time to die. As a society, do we want to live in a world where anyone can legally buy weapons that the police are scared of? The damn well shouldn't be a teenager who works at a fast food restaurant. Guns are the biggest, uh, they, they kill more kids every year than anything else. Firearms are now the number one cause of death for American children and teens. Number one. Children are losing their lives to guns. What he should have mentioned is a red flag law, which would say that if you know somebody that has a mental health problem, you take their gun away or you don't give them a gun. The yeah, issue yeah. Of, of red flag, red flag yeah. laws. Uh, Florida has some. A lot of other states have them. Should there be buyback programs? Look, if somebody want to take wants advantage to sell of it. Well, if somebody wants to take advantage of it, why not?